Excellent work with Chippy, it's really progressing. We're just using the pheasant wings now, it's great. He's retrieving these, he's really doing a great job. We're working these, like a pile of these and have him go get it and bring it back. That increases the drive and makes the dog understand that there's always something out there that if he gets it, he's gonna get positive reinforcement. Chippy, get up there and back. Go get it, back. Get it, Chippy, back. That's a pile of pheasant wings. And it's real it's real simple he goes and gets one and then he good needs boy, to uh boy. bring it to me and then he goes and gets another one now as he goes as he, he gets going on this we'll make him sit and wait for it we'll, we'll do that but right now we're just want to you know keep instilling this is the game this is what we're going to do when we're working piles and he's he's doing it great he is he's doing it great he's going down now if you start doing this with your dog be where you, you really should use objects of the same value. If you have different good boy, yeah. objects down there, good the dog sits good, down there, gee, job. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. Back. And oh, that is back. not going to be helpful. So all objects need to be of the same value. They are pheasant wings. Some of them are a little bit different, but they're very, very similar. There you go. Good boy. Good so job. we don't have too much of that. He's, he's doing yeah, great. He's, he's, look at that. He's a little working dog. Go down there and get me the pheasant wing little chipmunk and he does it Here. so we're, oh, we're doing this because doing great, we're also uh, uh we'll, we'll take the pheasant wings and, and and i'll hide them and then have chippy find oh, them boy, so the, by got, chippy going got, down there on, buddy, on, and buddy, getting each time he gets a pheasant wing he knows get he's gonna one. get positive reinforcement i'm gonna tell him that's good that's good Here. and when he gets a whole pile then good he really boy. gets um nice. you know the good boy he likes to have his butt scratched so that's what he's trying to get right, me to do, and I'm like, no, you gotta, you gotta finish the task. And good of boy. course, the little on, chipmunk buddy. does. This is the come last on, one. That was good. Good job, man. Look at that. See, and then I scratch good. his butt. That's what he likes. That's pretty good. Now, when you first start doing that, your dog needs to be able to hold the object and associate the object with something that they want to pick up. Now, this is another session. A little bit later, it's the same thing. I'm gonna throw a pile down there, pheasant wings. And um, I'm going to send Chippy on his way, and we're going to start the game. See how he lunged Good into boy. it? Come here, buddy. This is exactly on, what buddy. I want to see. I'm seeing here. more of that Chippy body back. language. I'm seeing Go more back. of the like, excited energy. He's into it. He's into this retrieving, man. He's into, he's, he's into working. Come on, bring him on, the trick man. is bring when you have on. a small dog like this, remember, okay, see back. the size that he's running? Man. That's comparable like the, half the size of my my yard for a normal sized dog he's five pounds he's really tiny so if no, you have a small it, dog right, like this yeah, try not go, to overwork good boy, them good boy, hold. you'll get so much more out you of the dog it, see on, right buddy, down here. there is sort of like deciding which here. which uh no, pheasant okay. wing he was going to take back. we don't really get want him it. to do that but he's, he's doing a great job but um don't overwork the little dog make sure and keep their attitude up if you work them too much here. come on you know, he's he's not the most energetic dog, hey, Get another one, which dude. is great. Back. It is. It's great. He's he's just got enough energy. Here, come on, buddy. Here. And, um, you know, he's not hyperactive. Here. He's that, hey, you back. know, he's Do really, really, this is a really, really nice little dog. And he's, he's learning how to do this. It's great. Just take your time. Here. Make come sure on, that here. the dog knows what to do. The Good dog boy. has Good to boy. be able okay, to back. retrieve another, before no, you back. do this. This is advanced stuff. This is, this is advanced. I'm not even here. throwing it. You know, when you throw an object... Here. It creates that energy. Okay, get down, this get is much more go, difficult go, for the go, dog go. to do. Hurry up. This work from a pile. This is like advanced retrieving. I would do yeah. with a you know a, a water yeah, dog, you, all, or, you know you any retrieving job, dog, man. a Yorkie. Good job, see, I'm scratching his you butt. Midget. That's what he likes. That's his positive Works reinforcement. See, he likes Good boy, that. Boy, dude. Good. Okay, let's take a break. So you 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 can't just like take a dog and throw something on the ground and think that they're gonna find it for you. So Chippy's to that point. So we'll take the, the pheasant wings and when you first start doing this, make it real easy. It doesn't matter if it's a dog that's like a Labrador, that's bred to do this kind of work. It, do, it doesn't matter. Make it easy for the dog and slowly increase, you know, the difficulty. I mean, honestly, the first time that you do it, you'll, you'll have the dog to the point where they're, they're really into retrieving at that point. And then You'll just put the object, don't let the dog watch you do it. Just go outside or go someplace in the house, place the object somewhere. We use the dumbbell and I start using an excited voice, like an excited tone, like, 
where is it? Hunt it up, hunt it up. And I start using that word, hunt it up, right? And saying that, like, where is it? You can find it, where is it? You can find it. And then when the dog gets close to him, I'm like, there it is, get it, get it, get it, like that, something like that. And then when he gets it, big praise. So he's figured out that this is a game and he wants to do. It's very simple. This is a great way to exercise your dog. You don't have to have a hunting dog to do this. You just have to have a dog that's trained. That's it. So, for instance, we'll use this. We'll use the porch. Sometimes I hide them inside. Sometimes I'll hide them out in the back. But I make it really easy because we want to build on success. So I'll take I'll take one of the wings, and I'll just put it put it over here. There's plenty of there's going to be plenty of wings for him to find. And they're not going to be hidden difficult. We don't, we don't want to do that. We just want to make sure that the dog is starting to use his nose. If he's visually seen it right now, that's fine. But he's starting to use his nose anyway because I see him, you know, with his nose up. With that said, it's sort of easier for him to find it outside because wind is blowing. If you're inside, there's no wind blowing. See what I'm saying? So when wind blows, it, it puts the object into a scent cone and then then they have a, um, then they can see it. They remember that their number one uh, sense is scenting. It isn't eyesight. And a, lot of, a lot of problems with city dogs is they're never taught to use their nose. Put another one over here by this old propane. Okay. And then we're, put one over here in the corner. See, it's really easy for him to find. We'll give him, uh, we'll give him one over here, and then I'll give him a tough one behind this plywood. I put this plywood here, and I'm gonna kind of direct him in there, and he has to go get it. Okay, I got the midget over by the door. I'm gonna give him the hunt him up command. It doesn't matter which one he finds. He just needs to find one, and then I'm gonna encourage him to find another. It's real simple. Chippy, here. Come on, buddy, hunt it up. Hunt it up, buddy. Get it. Get Get it! Find it, Chip. Where is it, Chippy? Back. Oh, you got one. There you go. Good boy. Here. Here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There. There. Here. 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 Look at one. Hunt it up. Where is it? Hunt it up. Oh, yeah. You got another one, dude. Good job, buddy. You got it? Oh, don't worry about that. Chippy, hunt it up. Don't, no, Chippy, hunt it up. Go get it. Go get it, dude. There you go. You got it. Chippy, here. Come on, buddy, here. Okay, find me another one. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. No, you got to find me another one, dude. Hunt it up, dude. Where is it, Chip? Chippy, try it in there. Chippy, try it. Try it back there. Hunt it up. Hunt it up, dude. Turns out Chippy likes to run after a tennis ball. Look at how cute he is. He's like a munchkin face dog with that thing. Chippy, drop. No, drop. That Hunt it up. Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it? Okay, you got it. Okay, Chippy here. Come on, buddy, here. Okay, hang on, there's another one over here. Chippy, hunt it up, where is it? Hunt it up, Chip, where is it? Where is it, buddy? You're right on it. There you go, you got it, dude, get it. Come on, Chippy, hold. There you go. Bring it over here, buddy. You got it. Hold. You got it. You got it. There you go. Here. Come on, buddy. Here. Nice. So when you're, when you're teaching your dog to do the hunt em up command, just make sure that you're using an up tone and praise them when they're, when they're finding it and bringing it to you. They'll get it. They'll start doing it and they'll just do it with more and more excited energy. You'll see the dog's body language change it just becomes muscle memory that they're, they're into this, they're into finding objects. All dogs will do this. Some take a, a little bit more time than others. Just take your time, keep doing it, and they pick it up. So I'll throw like, a, I'll make it real easy, right? I'll put it right here, I'll put one right here. I'll put one back, back here behind the ladder, right? I'll take, I'll take one and Put one back here. That'll be tough. That'll be tough behind that crate. That'll be tough. And then there's a bunch of stuff over here on the floor. I'm doing some construction stuff in here. 
it will make it more difficult for the dog to find. So it will, it, it, you know. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll throw one just over here on the floor. I'll throw two of them over here on the floor, right? And we'll, we'll see how he does with that. I'll move this tape measure because um, I can see that sort of screwing with them, like if he has it in his mouth and his feet hit the tape measure. And I know this because I saw him do that the, the other day. So this, this is a very small dog. So if there's a stick on the ground, you might not think that it's any big deal, but it, think about the size of the dog. So if the, if the stick is that big, see what I'm saying? It makes things more difficult because he's, he's tiny. Hunt him up, where is it? Chippy, hunt it up, where is it? Find me one. Where is it, Chip? Oh, I got that one right away. Here, good boy, here. That's one, good job, dude. That's good, okay, hunt up another one. Hunt it up, where is it? No, not the scissors, not that either. Hunt it up. Okay, that's, that's two. Come here, buddy, that's good. Good job, man, good, good boy. Okay, Chippy, back, back, hunt it up. Where is it, Chip? No. Chippy, over. No. Chippy, over. Good boy. You got it, dude. Come on, buddy. Yeah. You got another. Yeah. There's another one. Now, out watch there. this. Back. This is sort of typical of a dog that hasn't yeah, been doing Chip. this that long. Chip, back. Um, I'm trying to drag them over off Chippy, over. onto the lower no, floor. Over. Chippy, and over. He's being no. resistant. Over. Just sort of like, see, it looks kind of confused. No. He's going back to the lab, one of the places Chip, where no. he already found Chippy. one, thinking over. that's where he would get another there you object. Go. Over. Get, get down so there and look he's, for he's not no. listening to me. I don't want to give up here. I just need him to go Chippy, no. to do the Chippy, over command over. off no. of, Chippy, over, man. you know, under the lower floor, which I don't over. really know if we've done a lot of that. I mean, it's just a fact. Over. So he did do it. He is on the lower part of the okay. floor now, and he is getting get the pheasant wing. Yeah, you so, did. Come on, buddy. Know you that, got that it, dude. at first Come it might here. not go smooth it's all the time. Shit in don't worry move. about it. Just here, don't make the dog way, miserable. You got it. You got it. And um, you know, don't here, overwork the dog. Make here. sure that the dog's having here. fun. Right now, I'm moving something okay, you got because he's Come having on, trouble good. walking good with the pheasant wing in his mouth because it's so wide. It's wide. You know, now now watch this. Now watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna get him to go down there. And see he 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 doesn't get it. He's like, I'm trying to get him to go behind the crate he does he's doing it i think i think yeah there he goes so that that's half the battle and then so he's in some kind of weird area now he has to like bring out the pheasant wing but once again it is it's a long object it's a small dog oh he did get it he did get it okay he got it all right good that's right he's doing great he's really doing great Just take your time with this. It, it really is about them learning the game. At first, they're not going to have any idea what you're talking about. Over a period of days, a week, they're really going to pick it up and they really love doing it. It's important when you start doing this with your dog and you're placing the objects, you want to make it so the do dog is going to get success. Now, something about dogs is like, if, if, you, if, if there's a retrieve, a lot of times they'll go to the last place a retrieve was. So knowing this, if you place the objects in close proximity to where they were the first time, it'll sort of get the dog going in that direction and you can build on success. Don't hide it real hard at first. Take your time, make it easy for the dog, make it fun. So I'm gonna hide these again and I'm gonna hide them you know, sort of in the same area, you know, not, not exactly in the same spot, but very close. So like this, this one was right here. So I'm going to change it and put it right here. And then this one was back here, but I'm going to put it kind of underneath, underneath the ladder, which will make it more difficult because he's going to have to yank it out. And, and this, the, the one behind the, um, the, cra the, the, the crate, the one behind the crate I'm going to take and I'm going to put it not, not behind the crate but over here on the other side so he still has to go under the crate to get to it. 
and this one I'll put generally in the in the same spot that he found it the last time. So let's go get him and let's see how he does. Chippy, get out of here. Hunt him up, dude. Hunt him up there, Chip Wicky. Chippy. Chippy. Get up there. Hunt him up. Get it. Hunt it up. Where is it? Hunt it up, buddy. That's one. There you go. Come on, buddy. You got it. Here, come on, that's good. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, back. Hunt, one, hunt, hunt up another one, Chip. Hunt it up, Chip. Where is it? Hunt it up, Chip. Hunt it up. Where is it, Chippy? He's using his nose. I see him looking. I was looking with his nose. He's smelling it. Hunt it up, Chip. I can't see him. I think he's in the general area. Where is it, Chippy? Hunt it up. Where are you, dude? Chippy disappeared. You got it? You got it, dude. I see you. Get it, dude. You found it, dude. Nice one. Nice, Chippy. Come on, buddy. You got it. You got it. There you go. Here. Good boy. Good boy. Drop. Chippy, there's another one. Chip, hunt it up. Where is it, buddy? Get, get it, buddy. Get it. Hunt it up. Chippy, Chippy, here, try it in there, try it in there. Chippy, no, down here. Chip. Now this is the tough one. It is, so I'm directing him back there, and and also he has to get it. He has to put it in his mouth, and then he has to maneuver the wing, walk with the wing in his mouth. You know what I'm saying? So it's like knocking into stuff. He's not dropping it. He's just having trouble walking with. He's a five-pound dog. Okay, Chip. You know? Okay. He's Chip, got it. One more. Chippy, it's real close. Chip, where is it? Hunt it up. Hunt it up, Chip. Look, it's right there. No, Chip. Chippy, you little monkey. Come here. No, not there. Chippy, here. Chippy, sit. Over. You got it, dude. You got it. There you go, man. Good job, dude. Here, come here. No, that's good, Chip. One thing that about Chippy, since he's he's so small, there's an issue with just like anything could be in his way, and like if he has this in his mouth, he's he's really trying because if it's in his mouth and this is you know he's got to go through some kind of space and this is hitting, it's it's difficult. It's difficult for him. He was over there and there's this plastic and so he had to maneuver with this in his mouth, and I see him doing this a lot, and it really is related to his size. So we'll, we'll go try doing hunt him up outside um, outside in the yard, and we'll see how he does. Right, Chip? You want to do it? You know, Chippy and Tonka. Ch Chippy sort of gravitates to Tonka for some reason. I'm not really sure why. <clears throat> see? Chippy, Chippy, Chippy looks at him like it's like his... Long lost brother or something. <clears throat> Punk is like super fast. Chippy is not super fast. See Chippy wagging his tail? Chippy likes him. Tonka. Tonka, do you like the chipmunk? Look at Tonka just flies right by Chippy showing off. Right, Chip? Say they're buddies. That's ridiculous looking. Look at the size difference. It's not a puppy. <laughs> it's a, that's an adult dog, Tonka. Be careful. He's tiny. Look at how excited Tonka is about Chippy. Just like running around. One time showing off. Tonka, your show off. <coughs> right? You like you like Chip Chippy Chipmunk? <coughs> so that's just, that's just, that's just <laughs> oh my god. 
Chippy, that's your buddy. That that's who you like so much. That looks ridiculous. That looks absolutely ridiculous. Look at that. Be careful, dude. Hey! Tonka, be careful, dude. <clears throat> All right, that's it, Tonka Heel. Chippy's fascinated with him. <clears throat> Chip, hey, Tonka, here. Come on, let's go. Here's something that Chippy just learned, and that's to retrieve a tennis ball. It was very simple to teach him when the first time I threw it, he, he wouldn't put it in his mouth. And you'll notice this with the dog when you first start training them to hold, that if you introduce a new object, they're not, they're not going to do it. So what you do is, you, you, see, look at him looking at me. What you do is you, do, you backtrack and you just put it in the dog's mouth and say hold, right? So hold, hold. So they pick this up. So I did this two or three times and then I rolled the tennis ball again. And then he starts chasing it. Now watch, watch how fucking cute this little freak is. This is adorable. Ready? Look, look at him looking. He likes it. <laughs> hey, Chippy. Yeah, he's into it. Hang on. Here, watch this. It's like he's going after a mouse. Chippy, hold here. Good boy, dude. Hold. No, here, hold. Hold. No, you got to pick that up. No, hold. Hold. Here, no. See, he's get. We got. We got to teach him that he can't do that. Chippy, hold now. Hold. Here, here. Hold, hold. Here, right here. Come here. Here, hold, hold. Sit, hold. Okay, drop. Perfect. Okay, get it. Here. Come on, buddy. Hold, hold. Drop, drop. No, drop. Get it. Tell me that's tell me that's not cute. Here, Chippy here. You like the tennis ball, buddy? Hold. Here. No, here. Here. Drop. Okay, get ready. I'm gonna do a bouncy one. Oh, he's pretty he's pretty good at this. Come on, Chip, that's good. I mean that is not cute. Ch Chippy's getting a, another haircut real soon. And a bad Chippy here, bring it here. Yeah, he he's really he's really into the tennis ball, evidently. Oh, don't fall off the cliff, buddy. Look at that. Up. Okay, get it? Good boy. Good drop here. Up. Up. Get it. Get it, Chippy. Now, coming up is real important because I'm getting refusals. We just started using this object, so it would be very normal for the dog to give refusals. Here, Chip. And all we're going to do is just backtrack a little bit, working hold with the tennis ball. Don't drop it. That's it. That's it. Like a few sessions or something of just him holding oh, the killing. tennis ball. Chippy and here. he'll be good to go on this. See how he's hold. dropping it? That's hold. a no-no. No. You do not no. ever hold. pick up an object no. that is hold. dropped. So, hold. we know that he's doing this and no. he's giving me a refusal. So, no. all we're going to do is work hold real quick. Okay. Then I won't play with him. I'm not going to play with him. We'll come back out here in a little bit. Sit. Chippy, hold. No, hold. No. Hold. You got it, dude. Hold. There you go. Hold. 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 Drop. Good. Chippy, hold. Good boy. Hold. Gotta, gotta go over the basics with this. Hold. Drop. Chippy, hold. No, hold. You got it, dude. Hold. Drop. You got this, man. You got it, dude. You're a midget. You're a little midget. You're welcome. Hold. No, hold. Good. Drop. Good boy, dude. Nice job. Hold. No, hold. Drop. 
Here, come on, buddy, here. Hold. Here, hold. Drop. Good, nice one, dude. Hold. Hold, here. Drop. Oh, he likes this. Hey, hey, naughty. Down. Okay, get it. Here. Here, hold. Okay, drop. Oh, that was my fault. Okay, here. Come on, here. Right here. Down. Down. Okay, get it. It's like a bunny rabbit. Down. No, down. Get it. Down. Get it. Here. Hold. No, hold. Here. Here. Okay, drop. Okay, get it again. You got it? There you go, big man. Come here, buddy. Hold. Hold. Drop. Nice. One more time. Here. Way to pick up speed, brother. Oh, you dropped it. Now you got to hold. You got it? Okay, drop. That's pretty good.